Uh, uh, people of the Year Awards, they're amazing. Uh, and, uh, I, I don't know, get asked to do lots of charity stuff and uh, you can't do everything because then it just dilutes the cause of, you know, even trying to make a bit of noise for one charity. But this one is just incredible and uh, the show last year, it's genuinely humbling and it's not a popularity contest and it's not like, you know, oh, campaigning and votes and you can just be nominated once and there are just so many you know, incredible unsung heroes, the length and breadth of the country, and I was genuinely, I was, I was flummoxed for days after it last year. Um, and, you know, everybody resonates, but I particularly remember the guys from Bumbulance who do the, uh, for, you know, many kids, it might be their last ambulance journey or terminally ill kids, and it's just all about kind of fun and making that journey, uh, you know, as light as it can possibly be, and just the bravery of the, the, everybody involved in that campaign. It really, I still remember, and I still, you know, very occasionally would keep in touch with them on Twitter, and I think they're amazing. So just to acknowledge incredible people that are unsung and just, you know, ordinary people doing amazing things, yeah. Oh, lovely. So tell us about the new 2FM show. How's that been going? Ah, well, it was it was kind of premature, which is a problem in my life. I'm seeing a doctor, but it wasn't supposed to start till the 14th of September, and then the boss man rang me the week before last and said, oh, I can't find anyone to fill. You're on Monday. So it was about three weeks early. So we were maybe a little bit caught in the hop uh, just in terms of sitting down and recording production and getting our team together and what we want to do and whatever. But, uh, you know, so far so good. And, uh, you know, I don't think we're going to break the internet and we're not going to get ourselves fired either. So it'll, it'll take shape, I'd say, in the next kind of month or so. You know. How did you feel when you found out? Were you a bit nervous or excited? Um, I was delighted. You know, it was like 2FM is... You know, I had it had had a tough run for a couple of years, but it's still like the national broadcaster premier kind of you know pop culture station. So oh, it's awesome. It's an honour, you know. And uh, and I've done Drive before. I did Drive on XFM when I was in London. So I kind of know the slot, and I think I know you know I like radio and I enjoy it, and I think I know what works. So hopefully it will. <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully it'll take off, you know. So I heard Niall Horan is looking to do a bit of presenting. Would that be something you would love to do with him? Uh, yeah, I said that if I can drag Niall in for a show, that'd be class. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think you could be the next Ant and Deck? No. <laughs> no, I firmly don't think that. <laughs> I don't know, if he comes in, it'd be a laugh. And Niall's, one thing he can certainly do beyond all his musical stuff is he can talk for Ireland. So, uh, yeah, I think he'd be a natural, yeah. You seem to be pretty busy. Have you got any other projects on at the minute? Um, I'm doing randomly, which I think is going to be great crack, and I'm delighted to go back because that's where I started. I'm filming a show for TG Cahar. Uh, the Junior Eurovision. I didn't even know we had a Junior Eurovision, but it exists and we're entering it and hopefully we'll do better than the regular Eurovision. Um, so it's kind of teenagers and all the songs are going to be in Irish and they've all written them themselves. And then Neve Cavan obviously won the Eurovision, Brian Kennedy represented us. And then Stefan is the young lad from Shulin who does all the Clash de Lurgan songs. They're the three judges. So that'll be an absolute laugh and it's happening in Malta. Uh, so we kick off filming for that next Monday. So looking forward to that. Thanks a million for talking to us at Goss.ie. Hope you had a great first week.